The current weather is 31 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather, with a high of 37 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. I was in Asia for three weeks and I just got back and I'm really jet lagged. I've been waking up at like 5 a.m. every day. The only thing nice about that is that I'm a night owl, which means I'm never up early. So now that I am, I'm gonna take advantage of this jet lag. I have a lot of work today, so I'm gonna be filming a productive day in my life. I have to do some coding work. I have to hit the gym later because I've been slacking on that too. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> this in a previous video but I recently picked up some freelance coding gigs. It's been a long time since I've looked at code. I was supposed to be working on this in January but I was on vacation so it's a good day to film because I have to code and a lot of you guys started following me because of my computer science videos in the past. A lot of you guys also have told me either in person or in DMs that you major in computer science because of my videos which is crazy to hear. But anyway I decided to pick up some coding work again for 2024 because I think not relying my entire income on my favorite hobby, which is making videos, earning money through code instead would really help alleviate that pressure that I have to make videos for my job. Second, I don't wanna forget how to code and looking at this old code that I have to work on, I'm already kind of forgetting, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of Googling. I'm gonna do about an hour of deep coding work and I think that'll be enough to get my task done. So here we go. So from 2019 to 2021, I worked two full-time jobs and they were both in front-end software development. If you're not into coding, just give me 20 seconds. This is gonna be a niche talk. I did stuff like working with React, Vue.js, Angular, a lot of the front-end framework stuff. For this one, I'm building this React app that's gonna be used by the federal government. It's for like medical researchers where the researchers could create experiment links and send these links to participants and then participants like press keys and then they would then analyze the data. Honestly, I don't even fully understand it. I just know what I'm supposed to code. I just finished up. I'm gonna head to a WeWork and move on to the next task of the day. which is like this co-working space. I'm here because in 10 minutes I have a call. I usually get into moods on whether I want to work at the WeWork or at a cafe. And I usually don't want to work at a WeWork because my old corporate job used to be at a WeWork and it kind of reminds me of that. But for this call I'm about to do, it's for my second job of the day. So my first job is done. I wrapped up all the coding work, which uh, it was nice to get back into. For this second one, I've been working with this company to work on merch, a hoodie, a t-shirt, and I'm really excited because we're gonna be dropping it soon. I've been thinking about doing clothing for the longest time, and it's finally close to be getting done. That's all I can mention about it right now, but this was part of my news resolution, and I've been working on it for the past month, and I have a call at 3 p.m. because we're on final stages. It's been nice to work on something totally new, like doing clothing is unlike anything I've ever worked on before, so adding that to the list of almost day-to-day -day work activities has been a nice, Nice change of pace. So I have a call at three, nine minutes. People always ask me, Jed, how do you manage everything? Like, how do you manage the different aspects of your business? Well, I'm gonna put you guys on a product that I found has been working for me. Dropbox recently launched Dropbox Essentials, an all-in-one plan that gets you three terabytes of storage, unlimited e-signatures, 100 gigabytes of file transfer, video recording and editing capabilities, and more for only $18 a month. This is a really exciting collaboration because ever since 2015, back when I was filming weddings in college, I've had a Dropbox subscription to store and share the wedding videos I'd make for my clients. This new plan offers so much more than just storage storage and is designed especially for entrepreneurs. One of the new features that I love about the new plan is Send and Track. This feature allows me to securely share files with clients and maintain control of downloads and access, removing the need for me to send large attachments. And once files are sent, I can track analytics, like when a file is open and the time spent on a page. Another product that comes with the plan that's been a game changer for me is called Replay, which helps me expedite video project reviews and approvals. When I share a video to a client with Replay, they can give me precise, frame-accurate feedback, which saves me a lot of time going back and forth trying to clarify their notes. 
So shout out Dropbox Essential for giving me all the tools I need to get my job done as a one person team. So click the link in my description to check it out. I love Dropbox so much. I've been using them for almost 10 years. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. It is sunset and the golden hour is coming in really nicely. There is a new mic that I think DJI released and it's the one that attaches to your shirt and I've been thinking about getting it for the longest time because I'm seeing so many people post about it but it costs like $250 and I've been really trying to save money but it's too good and I'm just really giving myself reasons to buy it. I think it'll be really good for gym content and I'm gonna hit the gym later so I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> I bought the mic last night and then I fell asleep because I'm jet lagged. I fell asleep like at 8, 9 p.m. and I woke up really early again today. But for this part of the video, we're gonna talk about some fitness because my transformation video just randomly started doing well in the algorithm and I'm getting a lot of new subscribers from this video. So welcome, if you're new to the channel for my fitness stuff, I have a little update on my fitness goals that occurred to me while I was in Asia. For breakfast, I'm just gonna be eating three hard boiled eggs. So before I left for Asia, I was averaging eating about 3000 calories a day. And when I started this whole bulking journey, on mid October, I weighed 147 pounds. After eating almost 3000 calories a day, by January, I got to 165 pounds. Literally the only reason why I gained that weight is because of the eating. But what I noticed around the winter time is that my face started breaking out. My skin has never gotten that bad. And for the longest time, I was wondering what was the cause of it. Anyway, fast forward. I go to Japan, I start eating a lot less because the portion sizes are smaller. So I ended up reverting back to my old diet of eating like two meals a day, probably like 1600, 2000 calories at most. But then I noticed my skin started clearing up and I looked online and I saw some articles saying that bulking or eating like excess like whey protein powder, that can make you break out. And ever since I read that, I realized I don't think I wanna be bulking like that anymore. So I think from now on, I'm gonna be going back down to averaging like at most 2.5K calories a day, two to 2.5, I think that's my maintenance caloric intake for the day. So I'm not gonna be eating every few hours like what I was doing in quarter four. I'm pretty happy with my weight. I went back down to like 162 pounds and I think just maintaining this weight is pretty good. I'm gonna eat these eggs, open this mic, and we're gonna head to the gym. This is my first time owning a wireless mic. I used to have mics that were external with a lavalier, but I would have to sync the audio to the video in post-production. But this one apparently goes straight to the camera, which means I wouldn't have to do any syncing, which I think would be really game-changing. Shout out to DJI. It's the same company that makes these drones that I use. I actually like this a lot because maybe if I'm vlogging, I would prefer to use this over this mic because one, now it's smaller. And also I guess the audio, the quality of the mic will be better because it's closer to my mouth versus when I want to put the camera far, it would be less quality the farther away it goes. A common question is any advice for someone starting YouTube? I'm sure this is a lot of your news resolutions and I would honestly recommend it. If you want to get into social media, I really think you should try. My advice is that most people would sit around and say, I really wanna start, I just don't know what to make. You should think of YouTube like a startup. You wanna ship out your MVP, your minimal viable product as soon as possible. The absolute best way to do this is you need to ship out 15 to 30 videos before even mentioning that you wanna be a YouTuber. Like you need to do it first. And I think in your first like 30 videos, that's really when you start to figure out what you wanna make. That's really when your skills on making videos would really like come to life. By the way, this is a poll that I posted like a month ago and I'm only answering it now. But a lot of people are asking me about merch, which is so sick. I'm dropping soon, so stay tuned on that. Let's go hit the gym. All right, today's chest day. Let me tell you guys my rundown for my workout split. I normally do, on day one, three to four chest workouts and one to two tricep workouts. Something that really helped me, I think, is incorporating something called pause benches, which is what I'm doing here. Um, but this is more of a warm up, which is cool because back in October, 135 pounds bench press was like my working set and I would struggle doing five. I recently started being able to hit 185 pounds at a body weight of like 160. Anyway, day two of my workout split would be like three to four back workouts and one to two bicep workouts. Day three would just be legs. Day four, I think I usually rest. And then day five, I would do like three shoulder workouts, two tricep workouts, and two bicep workouts. So the fourth days, and then I do the whole thing again. This is also cool progress to see, but here I am doing 70 pounds of incline bench. I think this clip was from November, but 
I was really struggling trying to even do one rep. So being able to rep like five, it's really cool just to see the progress. My biggest advice to anyone who's kind of like skinnier like me, who's trying to see productive gains at the gym, is definitely just eat protein. The workout split that I just told you has been my workout split for the past few years. The only thing different is that I'm no longer skipping breakfast and I'm kind of counting how much protein I'm eating in a day. That's the only difference. And because of that, I guess, you know, protein builds muscle. I was in a plateau for how heavy I could lift for the longest time, for like years, which is crazy that in the span of two to three months, I'm able to be the heaviest I've ever been, all because of protein. So that is my advice for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.